Hey there, I'm Ari from the Tech Buyers Guru, and I've got another PC Buyer's Guide for you here on the channel today. This time around, I'm gonna be showcasing a small office, home office PC that you can build for under $750. Now, a lot of people are working from home these days and are probably gonna be doing so for quite some time. Well, rather than getting stuck with a work-issued laptop that makes you uncomfortable and bogs down every time you get a lot of work coming in, why don't you go for a desktop like this? This is actually my wife's work from home desktop. It's tiny, it fits easily on a desk, and yet it has a whole lot more power than a laptop, certainly at the $750 price point. It also has a lot of expandability in case your needs change over time, and that's not something that can be said of a laptop, no matter what the price is. Now, this all comes down to the right component selection, and I am recommending the Core i5-10400 from Intel. Now, I have an older Core i5 here. The new Core i5 is a six core, 12 thread CPU. That means it has six physical cores and six virtual cores. Those virtual cores basically act like half of a real core. So, you, so a six core, 12 thread CPU is kind of like a nine core CPU if that were to exist. So that's just, just to kind of translate all that techno babble into real world usefulness. Um, you basically have like the equivalent of nine cores and that's quite a lot, no matter what your work is. And it also has built-in graphics. And having that built-in graphics saves you a ton of money and saves a lot of space in the PC as well. You don't have to put a big video card in here. You're just hooking up a monitor. And frankly, you can go up to a 4K monitor with built-in graphics and be fine. Now. I also like a number of different motherboards, but ASRock is one of my favorite brands in the budget range. They often pack in a lot of functionality at a great price. Pretty much they can't be beaten in terms of price, and you're not getting a super high-end motherboard for this system, so you don't need to go with one of the fancier brands with a lot of features that cost a lot of extra money. ASRock always has a lot of features coming in at a value price, so I really like ASRock for a system like this. Um, in terms of RAM, there are a number of brands out there. I've been really liking uh, Patriot's Viper Steel line because it's so inexpensive and you can get it in a variety of speeds. For Intel-based systems, you're actually going to be limited to speeds of 2933 megahertz. And they make a 3000 megahertz model that will fit right in. It'll be running at slightly under its maximum speed, but that means it'll be fine. And it comes in at such a great price, there's no reason to hunt around for memory that's exactly 2933 because it's actually more expensive than the 3000 megahertz RAM. So that covers kind of what we have here in the power supply uh, arena. You only need 300 watts and Silverstone makes some great small form factor 300 watt units like this one right here. And keep in mind, you're not using a full size power supply that wouldn't fit in this case. You do need an SFX class power supply and that's what's here. And I'll be showing you a close up in the case. In terms of the solid state drive, this is really important. Of course, you're not using a hard drive. Please don't put a hard drive in this system. You have a couple options with this case. You can use a traditional 2.5 inch solid state drive like this Samsung model, and that would be fine. Uh, this is a SATA based model. All solid state drives that come in this form factor are SATA based, but you can actually go for a faster solid state drive for around the same price. And it comes in this tiny kind of gum stick form factor that is called the M.2 form factor and it can actually come with a faster interface called PCIe. And all modern motherboards, even small motherboards, will have a PCIe interface. So I actually recommend a solid state drive like this over SATA, unless you already have one of these laying around. The only reason I would recommend buying a new one of these is if you want additional storage. So you, you put one of these in your motherboard, you fill up that one slot and you need additional storage, no problem. You can fit four of these in this case. You can also use four hard drives, laptop style hard drives that are the same size, of course, have different internals. They have a rotating disk inside. You can use either one of those in here. So four of those plus your M.2 drive, that means five total drives in this tiny case, which is really great. Now, in terms of cooling, Intel actually will bundle in their very standard cooler that will fit perfectly in this case. And that's one thing I really like about this case as well is that it will fit this standard cooler, no problems. But if you want to spend a little bit more money and you're willing to go over the $750 budget, just a little bit to maybe about $800, um, I'd recommend this Noctua cooler, the NHL9X65. The 65 in the name means it's 65 millimeters tall. The Intel version is 47 millimeters tall. And what that's, that gets you is a lot more cooling power and a lot lower noise, which is really great if this is sitting next to you all day 
while you're typing away on your work system and you don't want to hear that fan buzzing in your ear well that's when you want to spend the extra money on a cooler it's not that it needs it you know the intel cooler isn't going to cause your system to crash don't worry it can handle it it's just going to be a little bit loud so if this is indeed going to be right next to you right next to your keyboard and your monitor you're probably going to want to get the upgrade and that's what i have in here you can kind of see it through the vent i have the nhl9 x65 it fits just right in this case this has 70 millimeters of clearance this is 65 millimeters so it's not quite touching the vent there it's a great upgrade for the system um, and it performs great but again it's not necessary particularly if you can tuck this away somewhere away from earshot then you won't mind the intel cooler quite as much so that pretty much sums it up you know it's actually a fairly straightforward build so let's pop open the top on this case and give you a look inside so the case i'm recommending here is the silverstone ml09 here's a look inside it's just so efficiently packed i really like how it's laid out here you have the power supply just fits in the upper right hand corner then we have the solid state drive bays i do have a 2.5 inch drive mounted there it looks a lot like this samsung drive and you can actually fit four of those stacked together like that then we have the noctua cooler here which i recommend as an upgrade if you're concerned about noise the intel cooler fits just perfectly it's actually not as tall but because of that it is not quite as powerful and needs to run its fan a little bit higher there's actually space here for a dual slot low profile video card and i will provide a link in the description although it's totally optional here i'm using corsair ram although at the current prices i recommend viper steel from patriot one of the things I really like about this system is how well proportioned it is. Everything fits and has its place and no space is wasted. While the Silverstone ML09 case actually does have space for a slim laptop style optical drive, I think for most people that's not necessary and you can use the space behind that bay instead for the Noctua cooler that I recommend. Assuming you use the case's included feet to mount it vertically on your desk, this will actually be the top panel of the case. It's vented and you do want to keep it unobstructed so heat can flow out. You'll also have access to your dual USB ports and your audio ports on this panel. I have to admit this is truly one of the best systems I've ever built. I really love this form factor. It's perfect for a small office and equipped the way it is here with the Noctua cooler. It's actually really quiet. Have a listen. Yeah, it's really that quiet. So all in all, it's a great system. If you have any questions, post them down below. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and I will catch you soon.